Laura El Tantawi's footsteps resound against the walls of Sukhothai. Today, in the ancient capital, a festival is being organized. For Laura, the crowd is a perfect background to her search for expression through photography. Um, I like to shoot anything that's people-related. Uh, a lot of the work that I do is uh, on-street photography, where I'm just basically walking around and finding pictures in, in different places. For me, my approach is I find a situation and I spend a long time on that situation. Well, I'm trying to do something with this, with people coming by, because when people come by, you see the light on their face coming through this thing, like little, little dots, it kind of looks nice. But maybe it's not gonna work. If I walk away from a picture that I feel like I'm not happy with it, I, I'm very, very disappointed. And I hardly do that. And if I find a situation where, like today at the market, you know, there was just little shafts of light falling and I was trying to work those and I stood there waiting for somebody to just walk through. And I was thinking, you know, what happens if nobody walks through? I was going to be really disappointed because at least I want to take it, you know, see what it looks like. One of the most impressive historical sites in Thailand, Sukhothai is arguably the cradle of Thai civilization. I like working during the day in harsh light where you find contrast between really harsh light and then like shade. So then when you take the picture, it looks like a lot of light and then darkness. I think the hardest difficulty is usually uh, access. Maybe people not being very receptive to being photographed. Sometimes, you know, if they feel comfortable about you, all it takes is like eye contact and a, a head nod or a smile and, and then you, you have the access. But sometimes it's, it's not that easy. Here in Thailand, uh, I didn't have that as an obstacle, but maybe my obstacle or something that kind of made me work a different way than I usually work was uh, just taking things a little bit slower because in order so I, I don't offend anybody, especially if I'm photographing religious uh, ceremonies. I try to be very kind of slow or just try to understand what's the right thing to do and what's the wrong thing to do. There's something about the Thai spirit that is really appealing to me. This, I mean, the immediate smile. You know, like when I look at someone, there's an immediate smile, not only of the lips, but even of the eyes. The eyes just light up. And I think that is just so, so beautiful to me. And it makes me feel like I just, I can't, I can't stop. I have to take a photograph. At the festival, two kinds of dance are being performed. The dancers of the Lacon, a traditional Thai art somewhere between theater and dance, are sharing the stage tonight with other contemporary dancers. With the dancers last night, I was specifically trying to get something that was maybe something a little bit seductive in a way, because that's that's the impression that I had of them. It was kind of like I said, it was kind of like the Moulin Rouge in, in Paris. I had that feeling. So I was trying to get something that interpreted that. It's by maybe using slow shutter speed, something that shows a little bit of motion, uh, different angles going up and down, you know, people walking through the frame, just different stuff. <laughs> I have something of the people putting makeup and dancing. I mean, it's probably the most photographed situation in the last two days. <laughs> but that's something that I wanted to photograph because, you know, I wanted to get the costumes, I wanted to get the, uh, the backstage. I like doing experiments, I like trying different things, taking risks. I don't like taking the same picture. Maybe I try the same approach, but I like taking things that maybe strike me as unusual. I try to look for a picture uh, of something, something that pulls my attention. You know, it's usually light or color or somebody that's really, really charismatic, somebody that just is really appealing to me. Um, I focused on one particular woman just because I really loved her eyes and uh, she was just, she drew me to her in a way. And so I was mainly focusing on her and I was trying to get pictures that kind of interpreted something that I was feeling. You know, when a photographer takes pictures, in many ways it reflects on their personality. So I think the pictures that I take are reflective of the person that I am. 
I, I just want people to look at my pictures and feel something, maybe know something about me. That's what the picture is about. They look at my picture and they can think anything. They can think, well, she's crazy, you know, she's interesting, she's silly, she's predictable. Whatever they want to think, you know, just they can surprise me or I can surprise them.